So what are functions? Well, a function is sort of a sub-program that we called by uh, code external or even internal to the function itself. Like the program, the function is composed of a sequence of statements called the function body. You know, you have code one line after the other. Just like in a program, you do that in a function. Values can be passed into the function and the function will return a value, possibly. You can also have functions that don't return values. So let me show you in the language R, which is a programming language and software environment for statistical analysis, graphics representation, and reporting. So this is what's called the R GUI, which is for Windows. You can also use Linux, which is popular with the R programming language, but I'm a Windows person, so I'm gonna use the Windows version of it here. Uh, I have a console, which I can type R commands into. So this command line here that I have on the screen, you know, I can type stuff, which is the R language. That's sort of how you interact with it. It's very uh, immediate and sort of script-like. So speaking of scripts, let me show you a, an R script that we're gonna work with. So I'm gonna open up tmt.r, and this is, this is a function in R. So it's quite simple. Let me talk you through it. So the name of the function is x, P O W Y, so X to the power of Y. It's very simple. And the definition of that is a function. So that's a definition for R that takes two parameters, X and Y. So X to the power of Y, right? There's a comment here, which you can put in most program languages. You can have comments just to describe what it actually does. Function calculate X to the power of Y, then print the result. And then we have a variable called result. And we are going to put x to the power of y. So that's what that little hat symbol is in R, x to the power of y. That's going to be in the result variable. And then we're going to print out x raised to the power of y is and then result. Very simple. And we just pass two parameters into it. Right, so there's our function. So in order to use this in R, I'm going to load it into our workspace, which is here. So in order to load this uh, script into the editor here, into the workspace of the R console, I need to first change directory. So I need to find the right directory, which is going to be somewhere on your computer. So once you change the directory, you can then use the command source, which is saying, give me the source from a script. So in this case, it's going to be tmt.r, because that's the name of our script. And then you just click enter. And now that function of that script with the function is loaded into the workspace so now i can use it so for example i could say x pwy and then it needs two uh, variables x and y and we can say three comma four that now calls the function called x pwy x to the power of y with those two variables that's going to then be loaded into the function and it's going to do the calculation so when i click enter it says you know, three raised to the power of four is 81. So that's a function. So this was our own function that we wrote and we looked at. There are also system functions in most program languages and R is no different. So as an example, we can uh, create a variable here. We can call this TMT, you know, teach me tech, vector. And I'm going to uh, initialize that variable with uh, a vector of 20 numbers. That's the syntax for that, one colon 20. And then that is now in the workspace. We can look at that by just simply typing the variable. And here are the 20 numbers, 1 to 20 in, in our vector. And then we have a built-in function which is called sample. And sample is going to return a vector in a random way. So like this, it will return, return all the numbers in a random way. Like this, you can see they're now all jumbled because they're randomly selected uh, and print it to the screen. Now, most functions, and R is no exception, can have multiple signatures. A signature being how many uh, parameters or variables that you pass into the function. Sample is a good example of that. So if you go sample, and we do the same uh, vector again here, TMT vec, I can then go size equal five, as an example. If I hit enter, it only prints out five of those. They're still random, but I only get five in return. And you know, that's in R as well. So any function can have a overloaded signature, it's often called. 
So that's functions in R. Just like other programming languages, there are functions in R as well. And you can use system functions, like we used sample, that's one that comes with the language, with the framework and the environment. Or you can use your own functions, you can create your own functions, which is often what you want to do. And functions are great because, well, you can reuse them over and over again. So you always have this idea of, you know, you can return the, the power of x power y, for example, wherever you need it in your code, in your workspace. So functions in R, they're great. So I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, give us a thumbs up and a like and a everything else, or maybe comment below. Is there something that you want to see as well in another episode of Teach Me Tech or something that I might have missed with R? Let me know. But until then, see you next time.